from my brother Shane. You see, Shane is someone that, you know, he's very quiet, but he's also someone that is a sniper, right? He's someone that is actually doing the work. He's someone that right now in the stage that he's in, he's back to make things happen and he's back to have sign of proof for himself that he has what it takes to make this happen. He's been working day in and day out. And not only that, guys, but day in and day out, he's working. The next person that you guys are going to get a one-on-one training from, you see, I'm honored to have this man in my life, right? I call this man not only my coach, I call him my mentor, and I also call, the, call him a, a brother. This individual right here, I met him from a hole in the wall, right? First time I ever met him was I did the first event that they were, the first Super Saturday that ever was in Arizona. I remember May of 2023. I came back from Europe and I ran an event in Arizona. There was about almost 200 people at that event. Last minute, it got packed. And it was because I ran a call with the leaders, how I'm doing it right here. I ran a call three days before the event and I told the leaders, like, yo, I, I, I want to be a lifeboat and help everybody here in Arizona work together. And we all came together as one. I remember Mario, I think that was, that was his first event. Ben, I think that was his first event. I think they signed up at that event last year. And we had 200 people there. Last minute, bro, the event space, boom, got packed. And I got to meet this individual named John Oliver. This individual, guys, he saw he saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself. And now I'm seeing it, right? And this individual, guys, he's he's older than us. He's, he's young at heart, right? But he's someone that has so much experience. He's been through decades in life. He's been able to launch multiple business, made multiple six figures, has made multiple six figures here and he's still here. He doesn't have nothing to prove. He doesn't, he's not doing this because he, he wants to do it. He's doing this because he loves to do it. And I have a lot of respect for him and I don't like to waste his time. And he's been here today, 24 minutes on time, early camera on. He's probably standing in the kitchen right now in his office, wired, ready to run this training for you guys. And I'm honored that I have individuals like that in my life that his best friends are top network marketers in the world. He's a billionaire in my eyes, right? And he's someone that has so much gem that's going to give to you guys. So don't take this guy right here lightly, man. Right. And also don't take Shane lightly as well. These are individuals who are going to come here and really train for you. Pay close attention. Okay. So I wanted to open up this call here today, guys, because I wanted to let you know as a leader to be respectful to you, right? to be respectful to all you guys that you'll be here. These leaders right here. And next week, there's going to be two more other leaders that are going to train. Last week, you got Rob, you got a little bit of Ben, and you also got a training for me. Now you're going to have another leader this week. You have Shane and also Mr. John Oliver. Don't take this lightly, guys, being on this call for real. And I appreciate you guys for being here. Take notes. Really pay close attention to what's about to go down and what they're going to give you. October 26th was going to go down in Arizona. It's going to be incredible. Trust me, you guys don't want to miss what's going down October 26th. And you don't want to come to that event by yourself. You want to come to that event with somebody. All right? So with that being said, guys, I'm going to step away here from greatness. I'm going to step here away from the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Worldwide. The floor is yours, Mr. John Oliver. Real quick, j drop some J.O.'s in the chat box for Mr. John Oliver. And let's go, coach. The floor is yours. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I want to uh, I want to give you uh, the best that I can think that I can give you today. You know, some of you know me, some of you don't. Uh, my name's John Oliver. I'm re originally from London, England. I've uh, owned, started, uh, operated over thirty five companies on three continents. Lived in Dubai for eight years. I'm from London, England. I've lived in uh, Phoenix. Uh, New Mexico and California are the three main places I've lived here. Um, I was spending the summer in Portugal. Um, I love traveling. I love this business. Uh, one of the things that I love about this business is that it enables you to do it anywhere. You can do it in Phoenix. You can do it anywhere in America, anywhere on the world. We just popped two Chairman Tens in Japan to give you an idea of where you can do it. You can do this anywhere. So... Um, don't give up on your dreams here. And I'm going to go straight into the training so that I can show you exactly what I mean. Um, this business to me has been totally transformative. I've been in a lot of business. I do a lot of investment. I'm in real estate. I do a lot of stuff like that. 
Um, just had one of my big deals fell apart about half an hour before this call. And a big deal to me is like a one-off deal that's literally worth tens of thousands of dollars to me. Just like that, it's gone. So now I have to go and do that all over again. With this business and with this company especially, we don't have to do that. We're building residual income. We're building a team. We're building that income coming in week after week after week. We get paid every Friday. So I have a big why for doing this, a big reason for doing this. I love, love, love this industry. I love this company. And one of the things we got to concentrate on, I'm going to share my screen now, is income producing activities. And income producing activities for us as builders means we got to be building all the time. And I'm going to do a quick training here. It's a paraphrase from Neno Torres's Chairman 25, one of his trainings. So this isn't just coming from me. This is coming from the very, very top. If you don't believe me, I know you believe in Neno. This is the what you've got to do. You can get on all the calls. You can, you can do all the go lives. You can do everything like that. But you got to practice income producing activities. OK, so um, there's a four step process for builders, as you, can, as you can see here. The first and most important one is why are you doing this business? Who are you helping? You're helping yourself. Are you helping other people? Who are you giving yourself to? Who are you helping? When you look at your uh, card that you keep in your pocket at all times, what does it say on that card? How many families are you impacting? other than yourselves. That should be paramount to you, okay? You've got to obviously have your short-term goals. We're now in a 30-day to the end of the year. This is the last quarter. This quarter here is going to set you up for the new year. So you've got to have a 30-day plan now for this month because it's going to end right at the end. We're going to have Super Saturday. Get your tickets. They are going to change price. So the VIP tickets, there's only 10 of them. And then they're going to be gone when those 10 are sold. And I think nearly all of them are gone. So you want a VIP ticket? Buy it straight away. The early bird ticket, the price for the early bird ticket is going to end on Sunday. And then they're going to go up 50%. So you want to save 50%? Get them now. Get them by the end of the end of Sunday. And you'll get them at 50% off. So we got 30 days, a little bit less than 30 days running up to Super Saturday. And then we got convention in Monterey. Then we're running to the end of the year. That's going to set us up for the whole next year, those 90 days. So very, very important. One thing to think about, the very basis of what we do here, especially as builders, but also as customers, is how important is that two and three? The, the two and three is vitally important, guys. If you're a customer and you're paying every month, the chances of them dropping off are much higher than if they're not paying anything. If you're not paying anything, people are going to stick around. If they are paying something, they may drop off if they don't see the value. And really, the value doesn't, it's hard to pro prove in the first few weeks. The value, as I've done, people, people have seen my trading counts. They know what I make on trading. The value comes. This is a long-term business to set you up for life. Okay? So two and three is vitally important. It's going to get those customers to stick around because they're not paying for it. Can they really see the value? And it's the first step into building a team. If they can build two, they can build five, they can build six, they can build 12, they can build 50, okay? So it's the first step. Two and three is vitally important, and that should be your first step with everyone. And when they get their two and three, drive down to their two and drive down tap root, tap root, tap root, all the way down. Everyone on two and three, they're all going to stick around, okay? How do we do that? We start off with three lists. On each list, there's five people on a list. First list, your close friends. These are your flat tire friends. Who would you call if you had a flat tire in the middle of the night and you were stranded on a strange freeway somewhere? Who would come out and help you change that tire if you needed help? They're your close friends. People who you think you would be would be good at that. This, this is another list that's vitally important to you. Don't pick on anybody. I know we don't know who's going to run with it and who isn't, but there's certain traits. We know this. Okay, this isn't beginner training. This is a refresher training. 
We know the people who are coachable. We know people that are busy. We know people that are go-getters. We know people that have got personality. We know people that have got a big circle of influence. They're the people that are generally going to be good at that. And obviously, our IG friends, our social media friends, because they can see what we're doing, they can see what we're up to, what we're up to. They're easy for us to reach. We don't even know. We don't even know need their cell phone number or contact. We can contact them directly. Okay. So three lists, five people on that. That's fifteen people. You can go through that whole list in one day. Okay. A lot of people in professional sales, their call ratio, they have to be calling two hundred. 300 people a day. So 15 is nothing. Imagine that. It could be done in an hour easily, even if you spoke to all 15. You've got to master the basic skills, and we're going to go through them all here. They're listed here. We're going to go through them all right now, okay? But you need to tell how to tell your story. It's very, very simple. You can screenshot any of this. I am recording it, but anytime you see something, write it down, take notes, or screenshot this. There's six steps to telling your story. You've got to give them your background, who you are, where you came from, what did you do before this business? Just like I did at the beginning, who I was, where I came from, what I was doing. Um, I didn't tell you what my rock bottom moment is, but I can tell you this. I'm much older than you. I've hit every major recession that's hit this industry and this country. The dot com, the dot com craze, the real estate crash the stock market crash. I've hit them all. You're going to hit them as well. Okay, so I've been at a lot rock bottom places. I've been a millionaire five times over and five times I've lost my millions. They've all been my rock bottom places. And that's why I love this business because you can build this for the long-term residual income. That's why I joined. So keep an eye on this. Learn how to tell your story. It's going to be the bedrock of everything I'm going to show you right now. PS3 is a secret source. You've got a peak interest first. And that's how you spell peak, by the way. P-I-Q-U-E. It's not P-E-A-K. Show the plan and get them on a three-way call or three-way Zoom. If you just remember those things, you're going to be successful in this business. Four-step invite. When you see people, it could be an Uber driver. It could be someone on IG. It could be someone you meet in a store. It could be anywhere. Break the ice with them compliment them is the best way to make it make uh, break the ice with them compliment on them sh their shoes their outfit what they're saying how they're moving how they're speaking how they look whatever you want to do then you've got to go into the other things here and if you can't talk to them directly on a, on the invite do it by lots of people do it by text but i'm here to tell you your success rate will go through the roof if instead of typing a text message, you record a voice message and you can send that by text, you can send that by messenger, you can send that directly because on the text, you can't, in, you can't get over your enthusiasm, you can't get over that, that hurriedness, you can't get over that, that, uh, um, that je ne sais quoi that defines what you're trying to do, okay? So voice notes are going to be much more powerful than just a plain text note. That's a tip for you. Here's some examples for you. What you want to do, your first step, if you can, is you can form them. Some people say, Lord, I say form. Form stands for family, occupation, recreation, and money or motivation. You don't have to touch on all four of them because you might find when you say people, how's work, how's your family, People will often tell you the worst thing about them. If they say everything's fine, then you have to do a little bit more digging and ask them a little bit more to get them to really come clean with you. But eventually somebody's going to give you a little inkling of where their pain point is. Their pain point is what you need to get to because whatever they say is their pain point, your response is, hey, I might have a solution for you. I'm actually in a bit of a hurry. I have to jump on a, a team call, but what are you doing tonight at 7 p.m.? You instantly go into it once you've got their pain point, tell them you have the solution and invite them on the call, the Zoom, the three-way or a meeting, the home meeting, whatever it's going to be. Um, you can see the invite sample here. I'm not going to read it word for word. You know how to read, okay? But what you want to do is you want to get it, make sure it's urgent and you want to make sure it's enthusiastic 
and you want to tell them that it's exclusivity, please mute yourself out if you just jumped on. Um, and so that's how you get the invite going. When you get them on a three-way call or a Zoom, you want to make sure that your mentor or the person that you're introducing is already on the call, and then you plug your prospect into that. And you, the first thing you're going to do is edify the mentor to the prospect. And I'm going to go over that in a second. And then you're going to find, edify the prospect to your mentor or coach. Okay, that's easily done. Edifying means you're going to tell your prospect the reason why they should listen to this guy, because he has something of worth and of value to say to you and because of his history and his background. When you edify the prospect to your mentor, you're going to say a little bit about him. Hey, this is Eddie. He's a really good friend of mine. We've been friends for high school. He plays football. He's great at sports. He's got knows a lot of people. He's really uh, excited to get started with us. He wants to learn more about the business. He really wants to make some more money, whatever that might be. So the coach, the mentor knows how to angle the presentation to your prospect. And very importantly, once you've done that, you shut up. You do not say another word. Your coach or mentor takes over the call and you do not interrupt him unless you're asked to do so. Your coach and mentor takes the call from there on and he talks to the prospect directly. You stay out the way. OK, how do I ed edify? The whole idea behind edification is you're, you're enlightening the prospect by uplifting the present the, the present presenter okay and so that the prospect understands why it's so important how much value your mentor or coach is bringing to that call and why they should listen to him okay and if you can pick up a couple of characteristics that you admire about the person and a couple of actual accomplishments what he's achieved uh, in the business in life whatever it's going to make that person really listen in and lean into that presentation. Be genuine, of course. Don't make anything up. Um, and if you can back up any of those characteristics or accomplishments with an actual personal story about your presenter, that will elevate your edification even higher. There's a six-question close. Uh, you all know that. Some people do a four-question close. Uh, some, some people do a six-question close. The key is at the end of the presentation, you don't start trying to re-explain anything in the presentation. You don't try and go over the presentation. You don't try and clarify anything in the presentation at all. You go in for the close. You don't waffle. You don't beat around the bush. You're a professional. This is a business. You want people to come on board who are willing to come on board with you, and they're willing to come on board now. Doesn't mean they're going to, but that's it. If you have that in your mind, that this person you're talking to is ready, willing, and able to get started now, that's the mindset that you go in with, okay? What did you like best about that presentation? You're not asking if you like it or you don't like it. What did you like best? Whatever they say, you agree with them and say, that's what I like best too. If they say, I like the way you can make residual income, wow, great, yeah, that's what drew me to this too. OK, I like the way that I can set up a second source of income by trading the financial market. Wow, that's exactly why I joined too. OK, all the reasons are valid. We joined for all the reasons. So you're not being disingenuous. You're being genuine. OK, number two, do you have any questions? You can skip that if you like, because it can bog you down a little bit. But if they it very often, if you have any questions, you ask that they usually say no, because you're going very quickly here. And then a couple of qualifying questions. How much would you want to make a month doing this? What would make a difference to you? Now, if they say something silly, 100,000 a month, tell them, tell them it's silly, but in a nice way. Well, no one's going to go from zero to 100,000 a month in, in, in a month. Let's get something more realistic. Are you looking to make a house payment? Are you looking to pay some credit cards off? Are you looking to pay your car, car payment? What would make a big difference for you? And you'll get usually various answers, $500, $1,000, $2,000, what whatever it might be. You can say, great, that's a great start. How many hours a day can you dedicate to this? And you're really looking for one or two hours. 
If he says, you know, eight hours a day, obviously he's unemployed, you might have an issue there. If he says five minutes a day, you got to say, look, you know, we're talking about professional opportunity here. You are going to put need to put in some time. If you were doing a hobby, if you were going to the gym, if you were trying to lose weight, whatever your hobbies are that you're going to, you know you've got to put some practice time in. So you can get them back on track. And then whatever they say, you can say, what's your current plan to achieve that? Most people don't have one. And so the final question is going to be, if I can show you how to make $2,000 a month, if that's what he said, trading and investing in the financial market and making money from your home, only working two hours a day, will you be ready to get started right now? Okay, just go straight for it. Don't beat about the bush. If you start something in our ring, obviously that we've got other training to overcome objections and everything. This is just your basic training to get these conversations started uh, and get them going. If you're asking these questions while you're still on the Zoom with your with your upline, with your mentor, your coach, he can take over and start ans answering these questions for you. But you must go for the close. Okay. If you can't go for the close, obviously follow up is the, is the next thing. Follow-up is the secret, okay? The fortune is in the follow-up. You've, you've heard that. If they don't sign up now from the Zoom, if they don't sign up now from the meeting, you always make sure you leave them with, with scheduling the next meeting. The next meeting can be a phone call, another Zoom, meeting at the event, going out at, on, uh, you know, at the weekend, whatever it might be. Never leave it that you don't schedule and properly schedule your next call, okay? Catter is to include in your follow-up. They're right there. That's so you know how to contact them. You know how to reach them. You know whether where you are in the presentation stage, what they've seen, what they haven't seen. Have you sent videos? Have you sent them whatever you've sent them, whatever events they've gone to, whatever Zooms they've got on? Uh, be creative when following it. There's lots of ways to follow up with people. You've started the job. The seed was planted. Now you've got to water it. You've got to nurture it. You've got to let it grow because typically somewhere between four and six exposures, depending on the industry in this industry, uh, can be four, four to six, depending how good you are, uh, to actually close someone. So although we're going for the close on the very first meeting, doesn't mean we're going to get it, but we are setting expectations that we do expect an answer, yes or no, at some stage. If they're not willing to do it now, we're going to follow up with them. We've scheduled another follow-up, uh, whether it's by phone or whatever, and so we know when we're talking to them next, okay? You can send them links to Mornings with Neno. He does he does those on uh, uh, on YouTube. doesn't have to be on Go Live. So you can say, hey, my, uh, my mentor Neno is doing a, a, a great call on Tuesday, at 7 a.m., let me send you the link. Um, you can send them some of your trading setups to show you what you've been doing and your skill set level, new products, new, new launches, uh, product calls, anything that's open to the public, you can send them that link and invite them to them. Events, obviously. Go live sessions, they can't get on without you being there, but you can set up a Zoom with them and you can log into the Go Live and they can watch it with you. Uh, and obviously, back office in intro and culture days, they're more for when people are actually signing up. OK, that's all I've got for you now uh, It's a very quick training. I wanted to make sure I left enough time for Shane, who's going to come up and give you uh, a lot more information about how he personally is recruiting people, getting on board. He is one of our platinum leaders, as, a, as am I. And uh, so we do have this experience. I'm excited to learn uh, from Shane as well. Um, I'm going to uh, stop the screen share right now. I'm going to make um, I'm going to make uh, him a co-host here so that he can show whatever he needs to do. Um, and uh, I want to welcome Shane. He's got a wealth of information to share share with us. He is, he is here. He's up in a penthouse in the middle of Phoenix here. Uh, he's a dynamic young man. I've known him for several months. Uh, we're not in the same in, uh, we're not in the same organization. So just remember, this is one team, one dream. We're all on here to help each other. And I'm as excited as you are 
to hear what Shane's got to say to us. So take it away, Shane. Let us know what you got. Wow, wow, wow. I appreciate you, OG. I, I, I truly do. I know the team does as well. Guys, could we get an OG in the chat for, for OG, man? He he really he really doesn't have to be here. He really doesn't have to do this. Um wow. Yeah. Jose, can you mute your mic, please? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm trying to, bro. It's in the bottom left. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, drop one thing that you got from from Mr. J O himself in the chat. And let's get some cameras on too, man. Why, why, why we gotta say ten times to put on the cameras? Like what? Like my boy, my boy Joe. He he ain't afraid to have his camera on. Bory's in the back putting together a flat screen TV or something. I don't know what he's doing. Girl got him working. Rob, where are you at, Mister Bossalet Gilmore? I don't know you, but we need your camera on, Jose. I don't know if you know how to how to turn the camera on, but it's in the bottom left. All you got to do is click it. Mario, your camera was just on. I don't know what happened to it. And KD, KD, what's up, man? You tell folks put their camera on and then you take your camera off. Like, why do you think folks don't got their camera on right now? But nah, it's all love, family. I, uh, I'm i truly grateful to be on this call right now. I know, you know, there's a lot of different things you could be doing with your time right now. You could be on Go Live. You could be studying um a podcast right now you could literally be doing anything but you guys are here on the zoom call with me and and 10 other individuals and i want you guys to i want you guys to understand this before i even go into anything like uh, batteries are stronger together right one battery isn't going to have the same charge as three four batteries together and what do i mean by that all of us in here are batteries right we're way stronger together. We're way stronger grouped together than we are separately working on our own. So I, I'm not going to go into the entire chapter of Think and Grow Rich where I read that from, but just keep that in mind when you think about going far. If you want to go far, go with other people. If you want to go fast, go alone. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm way more concerned with going far than I'm going fast because it if it if it's if it goes fast it won't last right so i know there's a, a few people on here that i am unfamiliar with so to introduce myself for the people that don't know me as john said my name is shane valle i'm 20 years young will be 21 uh first day of mexico convention by the way so i wear a i wear a size 40 millimeter rolex in case anybody was wondering um but besides that yeah born and raised in arizona I've been doing this trading thing. It'll be four years in November. And honestly, to save you guys all the intricate details, this entirely changed my life. I, I wouldn't have a clue where I would be at if it wasn't for this, not only spiritually, but. Oh, man, don't get me excited like that, John. I'll take that one, too. But um, just take a few links out. Um, Not nah, I. uh. I got introduced to this platform when I was 16, guys. And I tell you what, if this ain't the Navy SEALs boot camp for life, I don't know what is. You know, I, I got in for trading. I made some money trading straight off the bat before I even realized that you could put people on. And then I realized that you could put people on. And I'm like, yo, why would I not want to put on everybody? I can make money from this, put it into my trading account. And everybody eats. Everybody makes money. Why would why would anybody want to turn this down? Right. And I realized it was all because of these small little itty bitty details that I didn't realize I needed to work on until a few mistakes down the road. Right. And, and understanding like, OK, I went wrong somewhere there. Let me let me go study. Let me go learn. Let me go see why that turned out the way it did. Right. So, guys, fast forward. Here we are. I tell you what, I have signed up personally over 200 people in the last four years, guys. Personally, that doesn't include the people that I was able to bring in through tap rooting through my my personals, personals. Guys, this is personally signing people up, right? So I, I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. So I definitely would love for you guys to take notes because anything that I say, anything that anybody, any one of us say, 
is not necessarily spoken from pain, but it's definitely spoken from, from, from experience. It's definitely spoken from wisdom. Anything that anybody comes on a Zoom and tells you guys is not out of a waste of their breath. So to, you know, really just hop straight into it, I believe I should be able to share my screen. I had to send a request. I don't know why. Okay. Um, should be able to see my screen. Cool. All right, guys. So I'm going to be going over something that's extremely crucial. And, you know, depending on where uh, you're at in the in the network marketing journey, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit um, more catered to people that have been doing this. But even if you haven't been doing this, even if you haven't been getting people signed up, even if you haven't really gone out of your way to learn about doing this the, the best, most efficient way possible, we're putting you guys onto it right here, right now. So first and foremost, right, you get that first person started, your, your very first customer inside of your business. What do you do? Well, this is one thing you have to know, YOLO. You only launch once, right? Everybody launches differently, okay? And the main objective for any new customer who joins the business is to master the one, two, three system, one, two, three, four system, right? So check-in calls, bare minimum, one and two times a week. Me personally, I like to, you know, there's there's people that like to sign up and, and don't like to answer when, when you call them. So me personally, I'll call them twice a day right? There's, there's a, there's a few people on this call that, that can attest to that. Right. And it's like, okay, people don't know what, what they don't know. Right. People don't see the vision for how we see it straight off the bat. Right. Like John mentioned, sometimes it takes people four to six interactions, engagements to even get involved in this. Right. So the people that you're getting involved right? You want to make sure that you're checking in with these people, guys. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, one person can bring in hundreds to thousands to 10,000s of people, okay? Don't sleep on anybody. I've seen literally the most unlikely person come in and bring so many people. I was the most unlikely person to come in and bring people. You think out of everybody in that crib, the kid that pulled up with a beanie on because his hair was it, my hair was so long, man. I, I've never had my hair that long in my life before. And who who would have known that in six days of me being at that trade house, keep in mind, pulling up, I had no idea there was even a business side of things, right? Within six days of me being there, I brought in 30 people. Guys, 30 people. How do you think I did that? Right? I built a relationship with them. OK, this is something that you guys need to master is building relationships with people. No, not love bombing people, building relationships with people. How do you build relationships with people? Oh, I don't know. Actually be interested in them, actually care about them, actually want to check in with them because you want to see how their progress is. Guys, it's not it's not hard. This is a people business, right? This business is based on people you want to know why every time you sign a person up, somebody leaves, it's because you're not getting these people paid. You got to make sure you're getting these people paid. Can we get everybody muted, please? Appreciate it. Um, it this, this system is easy. You help them create a schedule, right? It's, it's pretty easy to do that. Okay. When do you work? Okay. So from this time to this time, every single week, you have that free, you're doing nothing. You're staring at the wall waiting for the next day to start. Okay, but we're going to put you to work during this time because we're not going to just work on our full-time job. We're going to work our full-time job while working on our part-time fortune, right? And then learning to work around the schedule, right? There's there's days, and it's crazy because I'm being completely transparent. Like there's days when I really don't have enough time in a day. Like that's most days. But then it's crazy because some days I can get in a mindset to where it's like, wow, like 
there's so many things to do. I'm not going to do any of them, you know, and obviously that doesn't, that doesn't make us any money. So the, um, if I could go to the next one. Okay, there we go. So there's a four step process for students who want to build. Wait, this is what John did. Am I tripping? Okay. So no, I'm tripping. Shout out, shout out to KD for giving me the blueprint. This is this is a million dollar training right here. Um, so four step process for students who want to build, right? Establishing the why is so important because it's like, okay, you want money, but why? You want to make ten thousand dollars a month, but why? Like, what's the real reason? Oh, so I could, you know, retire my parents. So I don't have to go into my job so I can focus full time on doing this. OK, bet. so when that person starts to slack, right, you remind them of their why. Right. They literally gave you three to five reasons why they should not stop doing this. Right. And you guys you guys got to use that to your advantage, because once again, we're humans. Right. Like we don't have this thing figured out all the way like we're doing life. for the first time, just like everybody else is. So it's always, it's always good to have that accountability person for you that you can trust, you respect, and that you know has your best intentions in mind. And that's why the relationship is so important. And honestly, guys, I, I could really, you know, dive super deep into all these slides, but I'll keep it short and sweet because I know you guys had a long day, probably like myself. So I'll, I'll go ahead and get through this as fast as possible, but please, you know, take notes because this stuff right here, you know, in a, in a training format in a presentation format, it's, it's real, it's real easy to do. It's a whole nother thing. And it's real easy to say, it's a whole nother thing to actually go take this and apply it. And honestly, if you don't have, give me two seconds, y'all. Yo, I'm on a call right now. I'll, I'll call you back. Just. Just te just text me. All right, bet. He said, look at gold. Momentarily. Man, I know he did not call me over 30 pips. Okay. Anyways, so how important is to and free to you? I swore he went over this. Um, yeah, guys, to and free. That's literally the start of... getting people into full-time builders now two and free is you know it's like okay we got the free down but why are we going to settle for less when we can go get easily six hundred dollars a month right so not only is the membership paid for but depending based on how many signups you got you got anywhere from 400 to 500 extra coming in on top of your membership being paid, right? Like it's, it's two and free is cool, but this is just a pit stop, right? List of three to five people. Okay. Close friends, people who think you would be good at this IG friends, right? Three list of five people, excuse me. I like to do it more so like, okay, I make five people. And then for every person that I call or figure out exactly Um, where they stand at that moment, I'll remove them from the list and so on and so forth. So, yeah, I was going to say, I could have swore he did this. Okay. Presenting the business. Okay. Thank you, John. I knew I wasn't crazy. So guys, this is, this is me right here. This is what I know how to do. Okay. When it comes to presenting the business, I could do it on a napkin or a computer or a projector or on stage or sitting down in a car. It doesn't matter, right? It matters the amount of times that you're presenting, okay? An IBO, an average, on average, an IBO should be sharing the plan five to six times a week. Guys, I've done at least one in-person presentation along with four zoom presentations a day for the last two weeks straight guys it's it's a slow cook like you're not going to sign up every person that you get on with but that's why it's so important that 
I'll go over it a few slides later with social media, but that's why it's so important that you document on social media, you post content on social media so people know that you're still doing this. I, I, I don't know how many people know for a fact that I do this because I've just been posting about it 10 times a day for the last four years straight. You know, it's, it's, it's very, it's very easy to figure out what I do. If people go to your page and they can't tell that you're an entrepreneur, maybe we should, maybe we should rebuild the Instagram. So anyways, I kind of went off on a, on a side note, but the, the, pre the presentation is super, super important for your business. Okay. So Matt Rosa, chairman 750 with inside this company taught me this. He told me this when I was 16, right? He said, the person that tells their story the most is going to make the most guys tell your story, tell it, let people know what did John come on here and do, right? He told his story. What did I come on here and do? I told my story. People care more about you than they do about any business, right? So what is Forex? What is crypto? What do we do? Et cetera. Explain it in detail, right? Second part, boom, platform. One, two, three. Academy, go live, apps and scanners. Easy, okay? Presentation continuation, right? Intro statement, details, relate, closing statement. Okay, intro statement. Guys, intro statement could be something so simple such as, hey, you know, let me, let me rephrase that. So who in here knows about the foreign exchange market? Okay, okay. I see we got a few people in here that know about the foreign exchange market. Okay. Who can tell me how long the foreign exchange market has been around? Uh, 10 years, 15 years. Oh, okay. So yeah, you guys are all wrong. Uh, the foreign exchange market has been around for over 40 years. You used to have to call and wait on hold to place a trade, you used to have to call somebody and manually place a trade, manually place a stop loss, manually place a take profit and entry and stock and this and that and the third over the phone to even place a trade, right? Just imagine how much price moved within that time frame, guys. Details, right? Details, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna be careful not to go down a road that you know you kind of you kind of get down there with with presenting you got to have good memory because it's easy to go off down the road and you want to weave back to what you're saying smoothly because keep in mind even if you say something that you didn't mean to say or something that didn't make sense to anybody that knew what you were talking about the people that are there don't know that you messed up guys so don't let them see you sweat this some that my mom told me when I first started, I was very stage fright-ish. I, I, I didn't, I didn't really um, just hop into this thing and, and, and I was warm right away, guys. She, she told me, she said, um, um, don't let them see you sweat. And relating, relating is like so important because people, people got to understand that you're not anybody special. You're just somebody that chose to do certain things with their lives and stay committed to those decisions, those decisions and those decisions brought you into rooms and those rooms led us here, right? Think about it. Every decision that you guys have ever made has led you up until this room right now. Do you think that just happened? Or do you think that was specifically a little bit too, uh, co like it's too specific to be a coincidence. You know, we're all meant to be here on this call However many people are on here, I'm sure there's there might have been some people that dropped off. Matter of fact, we have some people that joined. Welcome. So let's um let's talk about the closing statement, right? The closing statement is okay. I don't know if I would have. Oh, that okay. So this is over the one, two, three. So the closing statement regarding the um, you know, the products, the go live and the um what is it? The Academy products. Yeah, same thing. So closing statement, you guys want to keep it short and sweet. Like you guys want to kind of leave them on a cliffhanger. So that way they're, they're like, okay, but like, I feel like there's something more like, let's, let's get, let's, let's get to the sauce. Like people are always like, okay, but like, what's like the secret. And then it's like, okay, we, we kind of, we kind of dive a little bit into that third part price. You, you have to 
mention the price last, guys, because people will hear the price and automatically they'll think of every other way that they've already spent that money. So you want to wait until they know everything that, you know, you have to, to show them until you mention the price, because you got to you got to understand people in this day and age to come up with an extra couple hundred dollars a month working the, the, the same jobs with the same pay, even though everything's increased in price, like people can't afford it, guys. That's why the people that we get involved in this, we have to make sure that we're checking in with them. We're locking in with them because we're going through all this just to get them signed up and then do what, guys? So two and free, right? Mention the original price and then the discounted price, two and free, go over that. that that's going to, you know, for the people that don't have, an extra two, three, four hundred dollars a month to invest extra, two and free is going to be really, really uh, appealing to them, right? Compensation plan. We got to make sure that we mention the fact that the compensation plan, building the business, is optional, right? Along with closing the statement, and this is all stuff that uh, you can write down, right, and, and kind of put your own little spin on it. But the best way that we could probably do all this is in person sitting down. And that's why it's so important that us as this group right here, you know, we, we really, we really could, could sell between all of us 10 tickets a day until we get to October 26th. And October 26th is going to show the work that we were doing a couple weeks beforehand, guys. So when that day comes around, we're going to see who has the most tickets sold. And you know, if we want to meet our goal, we need to get eight signups a day until or not eight signups a day, excuse me, we need to get eight tickets sold a day until October 26, including today. So let's definitely let's definitely push that. But social media, guys, your Instagram is your online resume, right? And I would say your online business card, right? Because people people give me resumes, right? Like people submit applications to work with me and I qualify and disqualify these people based on the information that they gave me and what they said when I said at the very last question, why should I choose to mentor you? Right. So update your bio and profile picture, guys. If you're if you're smoking, if you're if you're if you're drinking, if you're constantly at parties on your Instagram, even if even if you're not doing anything on your Instagram, guys, post value, right? Post the value, give people value, leave them wanting more. Two to three posts on your feed. I used to be super conservative about the actual post that I was doing. And then I realized like, yo, like we're literally floating around on a, on a spinning rock right now. There's like five wars going on. There's the biggest hurricane ever going on. Like I'm gonna just start posting. Like I really don't care. More people need to see this. So flow for, for one hour a day, guys, flow for one hour a day, you'd be surprised what you could do if you just spend a few hours just locked in, no distractions, just locked in, focusing on yourself, doing the things that you know you should be doing. Follow 50 to 100 people a day. Guys, I add as many people as possible on Facebook. Uh, Instagram, I like to keep it a little bit more clean. I like to follow people. I like to build relationships with people and do it very intentionally. Um, so I, I'm not going to sit here and say I follow 50 to 100 people a day. When I first started building this business, yes, I, I was, right? When you follow these people, three likes and a comment. Yo, the like like that Palm Angel, that Palm Angel hoodie's mad fire, bro. I got to get that one. Open conversations. Guys, you you have to learn how to speak to people. You have to learn how to communicate with people and you need to learn how to um you need to learn how to control a conversation guys you need to learn how to win them into your life and you win them into your life by providing value you win them into your life by giving them by showing them something that they want to be a part of right call to action at least two times the three times a week what's a call to action Yo, what's going on, everybody? And this applies to literally up until yesterday at, um, or I think it was the night before last, actually. Uh, yo, what's going on, guys? 
Hope everybody's blessed. And your face in the camera, guys. Your face in the camera. Don't post it. Don't don't not have your face in the camera. People literally post text all day long. And you know what people do? They just swipe right through it. Click right through it. You know why? Because that's what I do. I like to see people talk. I like to see interesting things. I don't like to see the same thing that 97% of the people that are realistically only getting a few signups a year posting. You know, the... um. The thing about it is, guys, people, people need to see and feel you, right, without, without being there physically, okay? So when you get on your story and you're like, yo, what's going on, y'all? I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you guys are absolutely crushing it. I'm just coming on here to tell you something super, super important. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to get locked in with me. I know a lot of you guys have been watching from the sidelines. I know a lot of you guys have no idea what I'm getting on here and talking about. But for the next five people, I'm going to be running a Zoom presentation showing you exactly how I do what I do, how I do it, and who I do it with. And for the next five people only, I'm doing a 15% off discount. So tap in with me. Feel free to reach out to me because I promise you these spots are going to go quick. But with that being said, DM me and I'm going to see y'all from the top because bottom is too crowded. Okay, simple enough, right? You guys get the point. So promotion, right? The highest paid skill in network marketing. GoPro, get it if you don't have it. Actually, there's books right here. We'll get to that, right? So promotion, what to promote in detail? Yourself, your face, what are you doing? Is it your first week trading? Is it your third week trading? Is it your first week live trading? How's the how's the trades doing? Are you in profit? Tell the story. Document it. There's short form content is king, guys. Make sure that you're taking advantage of what you look and you see all these people in social media in their bags. And it's like, why would you not want to be a part of that and actually provide them some value? All these people are out here doing is entertaining people. They're not providing them no value. Guys, we can entertain people. We can post funny stuff. We can post whatever we want to post to get people involved with this platform. It doesn't matter. As long as we get the people in here, that's all that matters, right? And we're giving them value. We're not just, we're not just doing silly dances or setting up skits or whatever. Like we're genuinely providing a solution to people's problems. What's people's problems? They don't have enough money, guys. Training calls. Guys, post this. Post this call, tag everybody, everybody repost everybody. Guys, we're small now, posting these training calls, posting the events that we do. If all of us are posting and we're all going and, and collaborating and showing support to each other, it's gonna look like we're way bigger than we are. So what's that gonna automatically do? More people are gonna wanna get involved because they're like, oh my God, what are all these people doing? Events, I just mentioned it, you gotta post events. You got to document this, guys. People don't, if people don't see your business open and how is your business open? It's by posting, it's by doing call to actions, it's by putting your face in the camera. If people don't know about the latest event, how are they going to know about the next event, right? Campaigns. Now, campaigning could either be a promo campaign, could either be a, a tour. It really just depends. But honestly, you guys get the point. New product launches, like we're talking about everything. Like nothing is 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 filtered. We're being we're being raw. We're being authentic. I posted my loss. I posted my biggest loss the other day. Right? So you you never see anybody post loss. Everybody only posts wins. Guys, you got to be transparent. Be transparent. People people are already doing enough looking perfect. I realize I think that's one of the biggest things that I realized this year. Like I was trying too hard to do everything the best possible way and the most perfect way and no, no, uh, no room for, for slip or anything like that. And I'm like, yo, like all of that's holding me back from just going out there and failing forward, falling forward. Right. So guys get out there. If you're going to make it a mistake, at least make it a new mistake. Don't keep repeating the same mistake over and over and over and over and over again, because it's like you take it back to taking a multiple choice question in school. If you got that question wrong, on the first time you took that test and you get the same exact test back with the same question, you can look at that answer and say, okay, 
I know that was the wrong one. Let me at least try the other ones. I got at least a 33% chance of getting those right. And, and you know, it's like, I, um, I, I know that much and I didn't even finish school. I, matter of fact, I stopped going to school once I made the money trading. And then I, I realized that I could put people on and I'm like, okay, this is how I'm going to have sustainability. This is how I'm going to reduce that anxiety by trying to make all my money trading rather than having a couple thousand coming in residually, literally for the rest of my life, as long as I do my job. And I don't have to worry about the majority of my bills being covered. Okay, so guys, promotion is important because it shows people the biggest picture. This is the hidden key to massive momentum in your business. Talk about the benefits of all the calls and events and why they should go and why they should promote. Involve everyone, right? Everybody, even if we're not on the same team, everybody on there's like four people from my team on this call. Everybody else is from a different team. Guys, let's let's get together. Let, let's have a trade night. Even if we've never met before, let's link up. 44 Monroe, guys, in the chat, let's talk about when we could have a link up night prior to October 26. Um, we can we can talk about that after after I get done speaking. And I'm about to wrap it up here soon because I know we've been on here for over an hour. Um, involve everyone and incentive drives behavior, right? So incentive, a lot of you guys may not know what incentive feels like. I tell you what, a few years ago, incentives were bussing. And you know why incentives were bussing? Because there was so much healthy competition. Iron sharpens iron. Guys, I promise you, we start making some motion happen. And I don't mean just a few select individuals making motion. I'm talking about everybody making motion, right? Regardless on if it's slow motion or if it's fast motion, or even if it's just average motion, motion is motion, okay? Systems for your team. You got the launch system. You need that down. You got the product system. You need people to rely on the products, guys, because these people don't know how to trade, right? These people don't know how to trade. They get in, they copy and paste. They feel like they can trade just because they were able to copy and paste. Like, no, you guys need to make sure the people are using the products because the products are always there, even when you're not. Okay, op call system. I don't know about everybody on this call. I know for me, I'm willing to take an op call anytime. I usually schedule it uh, 15, 30 minutes ahead of time. I don't like to take it right there on the spot uh, just for, you know, clean purposes, I guess you could say. Um, so I know that's how I do it um, as far as like a three-way or op call, or even when I'm just presenting myself, I'll, I'll be like, okay, uh, I'm free. I, I'm going to get off this call in 30 minutes or 10 minutes. Okay. I like to keep it on 30 minute intervals. Um, so a skill development system, guys, skill development system, we have to develop. We can't, we're not grass Guys, we're, we're trees, right? We're not meant to stay at the same level forever. We're meant to grow, okay? Um, social media system, you gotta have, uh, you guys gotta have a, a daily method operation. Okay, I'm gonna wake up at seven. I'm gonna go to the gym at eight. I'm gonna come back, shower. I'm gonna eat by 9.30. By 11, I already watched the entire uh, Jordan Morgan go live. 11 to three, I went out and I prospected. I came back. And I was on the phone with my team for another three hours. I traded for an hour. I read for an hour and so on and so forth. You have to have a daily method operation. And, and guys, number six, I want you guys to understand something, right? And I think the people that really pay attention to what I'm about to say, this is going to change everything for you. Recognition system. Recognition system. Guys, how... You celebrate is how you are accelerated, right? The way that you clap for others is the way that others are going to clap for you, okay? So, guys, it costs nothing to show love. Even if you're lying, it costs nothing to show love. I don't know about girls. I know we have a few girls on this call, a few women. I don't know about, about y'all, but men, we're, we're so seldomly complimented right and and from and i know there's mainly men on this call from one man to another like yo don't be afraid to to compliment the 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 fellow brother you know what i mean yo bro 
your fits mad fresh. Yo, bro, you uh you looking fly today, bro. Yo, bro, you you look you look like the smartest person I've seen all day. You know, like like just just simple stuff, or even even for this specifically, what is being talked about on this slide, right? Recognition. Somebody hits a fire trade or somebody just pops the next rank in the business. Like, why are we not celebrating these people? Like, you understand how hard somebody has to work in order for that to even be an accomplishment? Like, guys, and, and, and it's like, okay, don't be surprised when the when it's time for your turn, if the same thing doesn't happen as far as, okay, now we're going to see how much love I get shown, right? You guys want genuine love. You want you don't want people to drop fire emojis because you just started making an extra twelve thousand dollars a year residually. You guys you guys want people to call you, yo, bro. I'm so proud of you, man. If anybody deserved it, you deserve it because you really be putting in that work and you really be looking out for people when you don't need to, man. And I appreciate you for looking out for me because you could have been doing anything else. You you could have completely kept this to yourself and traded and became rich trading. So those are the types of recognition that you want to give and get right and book recommendations guys oh my god this books right books 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 it is so important that you guys understand the goal is not to read it is to become a reader and apply that information that you learn from reading everything within think and grow rich if you apply it will you will get anything that you want in life for facts with some mentorship along the way, for sure. Um, network marketing books, GoPro by Eric Worre. That's going to tell you exactly what you need to know to be a professional in network marketing. Your first year in network marketing, building an empire. Beach Money by Jordan Alder. I've read three out of four of those books. Develop the Leader Within You. I've read that. Leader with no title. I haven't read that. 21 Irrefutable Laws of Mentorship. I've read that. Um, and then I haven't read the, the last two. But honestly, guys, you want to know where all of this information is coming from, regardless on who the title was. And this is, you know, some I'm going to be very brief on. But all of this stuff comes from the Bible. And that is honestly the book that changed everything for me and really unlock something within me that I never had before. So if you guys aren't tapped in with that, definitely get locked in with that because that is a cheat code in real life and shows you how to actually build a relationship and have a relationship with anybody, right? So closing statement, all in. Guys, go all in, okay? There is no reason as to why I thought, I thought the uh, the meeting ended for a second. I thought I was talking to myself. Uh, there's no reason as to why we shouldn't be all in it. And I'm going to, I'm going to be very, very careful with the words that I use right here. If you're not all the way in, meaning both feet in, and you don't have any plans of doing that anytime soon, if you're one foot in, one foot out, just leave, like, just leave. Like, it's not going to work for you. You're wasting your time. You have to be both feet in. Guys, if you're not both feet in, it's not going to work the way you want it to. I, I don't know how how many ways you want me to flip that same sentence around. It's not going to work for you. Take it from me. Guys, I left this business three times now because I did not get that concept down. The last time I came, I locked in with Darwin. My father had just passed away. I told him, I was like, yo. Like, I, I, I know there is more to life than what I'm looking at right now. I know where I belong. I know what my purpose is. And I know I'm meant to have an impact in the world. Let me come. Let me come be right by your side. Let me come be your golden boy. You know what he told me? He said, he said, you want to come live with me, bro? And I was like, I, I'm over here. Like, I'm sweating and stuff telling him. I, I didn't know. I didn't know what he was about to say. And I was like, uh, yeah, he was like, all right. And what did I do? It took me, it took me, it took me from October 1st, I moved in with him 
at the end of October, I signed up with brand new account, October 1st. I moved in with him at the end of October. And from November to December, that's how long it took me to go P6. From the beginning of January to January 10th, which is 10 days, I went P1. From January 10th to January 29th, I went P2. And then and, and then and then I I I messed up again. I, I got in ahead of myself again. And you know, this is something that I want you guys to know. Always talk to yourself, but don't always listen to yourself because you're not always gonna those thoughts that you got going on, like they they may not always be the the best thoughts and the best advice for you to take. And you know. If, if 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 you're gonna listen to yourself, at least pray and ask for guidance that that's the right decision. Because I know uh, a lot of the um, situations that I've gotten myself into in my life have come from a lack of thinking before I acted or thinking before I spoke. And yeah, I did. I did have to. You know, um, I did feel it was best that I took a step back. A few. I, I mean, I was. I was. I was like 20 away from P5. I was on a roll. It was it was about to happen. And I realized that I had to go through all this. I, I was, I, I had no, ego-wise, no way I felt like I could come back after coming and then going. And then keep in mind the, the, the two times that I had left, it's because my dad had gotten sick and then my dad passed away. So it's like the first two times it wasn't, it wasn't anything. Uh, it's never been with the business. The business has never been the problem. I have always been the problem. And I'm not saying that like, you know, it's, it's like anything unfixable. I'm just saying that when, you know, it's super easy to go point fingers at everybody else and blame everything, but your yourself, it, it takes a, it takes a, a lot of, uh, it takes a lot of pride to accept accountability and to move forward and to even, even like, the first few calls that I hopped on, I'm like, dang, like, I, I feel, I feel kind of out of place. You know, I went from running two events a week, 20, 30 people a week, plus, you know, all these calls that we were doing to, you know, literally, you know, being back at my mom's house. And I'm like, I cannot do this, man. And, you know, if you guys, if you guys don't have, um, you know, consistent or even calls from Darwin, like guys, Darwin is somebody that at his peak had 27,000 people on his team for you guys to not listen to every word that he tells you to do. And not only in not only business, but in the trading realm, like you guys, I don't know what you're doing because that man has it figured out. Like he may not be a rocket scientist, but if there's one thing about Darwin that I've noticed, it's that it's that it doesn't matter how you do it. If you're, putting effort in and it's putting effort into the right things. Like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Like as long as you're giving it your, your all, like, and I know a lot of people, like when I, when I say this, it, it might sound a little bit confusing, but there's some days where my a hundred percent, my, me giving my best only looks like 20, 25% of my, of my, of my potential because, you know, I, I may have just worked 20, 22 hours the day before. Right. So there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things in this business that will try to bring you down. Your own mind will try to bring you down. But always remember that it's a fight against you guys, just as much as it's on me to build a business, to learn how to trade, to, to perfect my trading craft is just as much on everybody else. And I want you guys to all understand that this process isn't a fast one, guys. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that we can't give it the the best possible shot whatsoever. And I know, um, I know you guys are probably wanting to get off of here. So I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and wrap things up. Does anybody, I know, you know, we're, we're here to, you know, learn from, from me and John, but does anybody have anything that they'd like to say, or are we good 
with the value that we got and ready to go apply that and go get some signups because that's what really matters is us bringing people into the back office. So if, if nobody has anything to add, which I think, Joe, do you have anything to add? I, I know you look like you are.